In one corner of our universe, there is a small blue planet, the third rock from a star called the Sun, one among billions of stars in a spiral galaxy known as the Milky Way, grouped together with about seven dozen galaxies in what is called the Local Group, included with another hundred groups and clusters of galaxies in the Virgo Supercluster, which itself is only a small part of the Laniakea Supercluster, containing 100,000 galaxies. Within it, lies an extremely strong gravitational anomaly called the Great Attractor, a region of space with an enormous amount of galaxies, gas, dust, and possibly a great deal of dark matter. And it is where our local group, the Milky Way, the Sun, and the Earth are heading. The explanation for this gravitational phenomenon is that the universe is structured and every object moves toward its center of gravity. The Earth is pulled by the Sun. The Sun is pulled by the center of the Milky Way. Similarly, the Milky Way moves toward the center of its local group. In turn, our local group shifts toward the center of the Virgo supercluster. And this is drawn by the Great Attractor, the center of the Laniakea supercluster. But wait, Laniakea too is in motion, pulled by the Shapley supercluster, a colossal concentration of galaxies whose gravity dominates our local region. Laniakea and Shapley are only two among the thousands of filaments that form the cosmic web of the observable universe. And observable because we only see as far as light has had time to reach. Beyond that limit, there may be more universe, with galaxies and stars we will never see, planets we will never know, and perhaps civilizations that will never know we exist. Now, you understand how little we know and how tiny we are.